Let's dive into the sawfish. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up by smashing that like button. If you're new here, I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do. And make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. The sawfish is named for its very large saw-like snout that it has. Sawfish are usually found bottom dwelling in estuaries or bays. However, they have been known to swim very far up rivers. The largest specimen ever documented was around 23 feet long. That is very large. Their saws can make up one third of its length and it is also called a rostrum. This rostrum or saw, whichever name you please, is not something to mess with. They use the saw for feeding, thrashing it around in schools of fish to stun them. Much like sharks, sawfish also have ampullae of Lorenzini on this saw, which are electroreceptors used to detect the magnetic field of the earth. Which brings me to my next point. Sawfish are related to sharks, skates, and rays. They eat small fish and bottom dwelling crustaceans like crabs. Sawfish are very threatened by humans, sadly. The population of the small tooth sawfish has decreased by over 95% due to fishing, bycatch, and much more. A common misconception about the sawfish is that the points on its saw are teeth, but no, they are actually scales modified to look this way. Sawfish have been known to kill fishermen when they are brought in. They struggle around and oftentimes strike the fishermen several times with its saw. I hope you all enjoyed this video and next time on All Things Marine.